It's the holidays and that means I am going on vacation. I have not been on vacation in so long. I cannot wait to take some time off from work and I have already warned my family a lot of reading is going to get done. So today I'm here to share my holiday vacation TBR. Let's get started. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Russell with Ink and Paper Blog. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing very, very well. I hope that your holiday season is treating you fantastically. As always, I hope that it is full of family, fun, love, whatever you need to relax and enjoy a good book or two or three. I am headed to Oregon to spend the holiday week with my family, so I thought I would share with you the books that I am taking along to read. Now, I know that I will not read all of these books, but I'm being super ambitious because I've already told the family I'm going to be hunkered down for a good amount of time <laughs> trying to just get some reading done. I haven't had a lot of really good reading time in quite a bit, so I'm super excited about it. But as always, get out your pen, get out your paper, get out your Goodreads. Maybe one of my TBR will wind up on your TBR. Or if you are so able, please look, order these books from your local independent bookstore and or have your library get you a copy if that's how you get your books. And then finally, if you've read any of these and you want to say, Russell, read them, read them, put those in the comments below and let's talk about these books. So we might as well get started. The first book that I'm bringing along, and that was a, an adventure over here, good thing you guys couldn't see what just happened, um, is my book club book. My book club will be meeting in January to discuss Drive the Plow Over the Dead of the Over the Bones of the Dead. I always get those that last bit of it confused in my head. Um, and this is by Olga, and I'm gonna hold up Olga's name because I really struggle with the pronunciation. Um, she is the winner of the 2018 Nobel Prize in Literature, deservedly so. Um, uh, Flights is the only book that I have read by her, but it is uh, brilliant. Um, this was chosen because it is a literary mystery, I believe. This is the story of a young woman who lives in a small town outside Warsaw in Poland, where she is rather reclusive. She studies astrology. She translates the poetry of William Blake. Uh, she is known to be more friendly to animals than to people. I like her already. Um, and unfortunately, one day, one of her neighbors passes away and it turns out there's a lot of dead bodies that wind up turning around, uh, turning up. And she thinks that she can help solve the mystery of all of those murders. She tries to get involved, however, because of her sort of status and where she sits in the community, it becomes very difficult. I have gotten some really strong recommendations on this, so I'm super excited to get to it. So it's Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga last name being put up there. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, next is probably one of my most anticipated reads. It uh, probably, it is one of my most anticipated reads of 2020 and probably, I hope, going to be a huge book in 2020. And that's Cleanness by Garth Greenwell. Now, Garth is very well known for his debut novel, What Belongs to You, that came out a few years ago. And this book follows in that it is still set in Bulgaria in Sofia, Bulgaria, I believe. And um, it is sort of a collection. Um, I've heard it described as stories, um, but I think it has an overall arc to it. Um, and it says here, in, um, in, we're in Sofia, Bulgaria. Um, in this atmosphere of disquiet, and an American teacher navigates a life transformed by the discovery of uh, by the discovery and loss of love, as he prepares to leave the place he calls he's come to call home, he grapples with the intimate encounters that have marked his years abroad, each bearing uncanny reminders of the past. And I think when I think about Garth's writing, he is extremely, and I use this word in the most um, complimentary sense. He has a very dense writing style, but it is so beautifully done. And also he has such a way with sort of visceral feelings of sexuality, of masculinity, of sort of um, frustration and 
remorse and all that kind of stuff. He does it so very, very well. He's a brilliant, brilliant writer. And I cannot wait. And my friend Matthew Serapa has already reviewed this book. So if you want an even more detailed opinion of it by one of the brilliant minds of BookTube, go check out his channel. And this is Cleanness by Garth Greenwell. This is out from FSG in America on January 14th, 2020. And I would like to say that that's really far away, but it's literally around the corner. The next book that I'm bringing on with me is Oligarchy by Scarlett Thomas. This is out from Counterpoint Press on January 14th, 2020 as well. This is about the daughter of a Russian oligarch who winds up going to a boarding school in England. Now, I don't want to say much more than that. I'm just going to give you what the back of this book says. Hilariously dark, oligarchy is the prime of Miss Jean Brody for the digital age. To me, that is enough to read this book. Second, I think this cover is phenomenal. And it's gotten some rave reviews by my friends out of, over at CounterPoint who I absolutely, absolutely trust. So... That is Oligarchy by Scarlett Thomas. This is out from Counterpoint Press in the U.S. on January 14th, 2020. I believe it, I'm not sure, it may be out already over in the U.K. or it's coming out soon. I've seen it on U.K. Twitter, so I'm not sure. So you should be able to get your hands on this one pretty soon too, if not already. Next, I have been dying to dive into a fantasy novel lately, and so I'm going to bring a Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozloff with me. This is also coming out in January of 2020. Now, if you guys remember, if you've been watching my channel, this is the first in a four book series where all four books are gonna come out month after month after month. So book one in January, book two in February, book three in March, and book four in April. And this is the story of an orphaned and exiled um, princess who is on the hunt to become the queen that she knows she can be. And I love that it says here, she must master the magic that is her birthright, become a ruthless guerrilla fighter, and transform into the queen she's destined to be. I've already stolen that phrase to describe it. I did actually, actually I've started cleanness and I've started this one already and I am absolutely, absolutely hooked. So I am super excited. So A Queen in Hiding, this is The Nine Realms Book One by Sarah Kosloff out from Tor in January uh, 2020 as well. I kind of just want to sit down and open this and want, let you guys watch me read it because it's I'm ex so excited about it. I'm actually excited about all of these books. I don't know why I'm saying that I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited about them all. Um, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell was one of the big buzz books at Book America, Book Expo America this year. This is also coming out in January of 2020. I don't think I have an actual date in 2020. This is a two, uh, debut novel that deals with sort of the Me Too movement. Um, it's about a young woman who one day uh, finds out that uh, her high school teacher, sort of her inspirational high school teacher, has been accused of sexual abuse of a student, only for her to recognize that she actually was having um, relations with this teacher when she was 15 years old, but it was different for her because she was in love with him. And it sort of becomes one of those books where you have your main character investigating into a relationship she was in when she probably and very well shouldn't have been in that relationship. Um, this book, just, I haven't read it yet. I'm excited to read it. I've heard it is excellent by the people that I know that have read it. However, it does sound a bit like Putney to me, which I read last year and absolutely adored. So I'm hoping that I am able to sort of separate the two stories, but I am super excited because everyone I know who has read this has said it is mind-blowingly good. So that is My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. This is out from William Morrow in January 2020. Okay, I only have two more I'm taking because I'm trying to not be too ambitious. I'm not going to get through all of these. Maybe I'll read a part of all of them just to dive in. American Dirt by Janine Cummings is a book that ever since I heard about it, 
I absolutely, absolutely wanted to read. And this is coming out from Flatiron Books in 2020, January 2020. As you can tell, I'm trying to get some January 20, 2020 books under my belt to tell you guys about them in a read and reviewed when we start the new year. American Dirt is the story of a family of a mother and a son who live in a country where her family comes under attack and she has to immigrate from her um, country. I want to, I think it's Mexico. Don't quote me on that. But she, um, the mother is immigrating with her son to protect him from what's going on in her country into America. And it is a tale that deals with that, that whole entire process of coming and entering and being an immigrant in America. I have heard from my friend Emily Fine over at the Book Cougars that this is a heart wrencher of a novel. I've heard it is brutal and I hear it is brilliant and so I am so so excited for American Dirt by Janine Cummings I mean Stephen King says I defy anyone to read the first seven pages of this book and not finish it it's quoted by Don Winslow Tara Conklin yeah I don't know what else you guys need, but it sounds amazing. But it also sounds like I may ball my eyes out. So again, American Dirt out from Flatiron Books in January 2020. Last but not least is a book that I am bringing that comes out next year. However, I'm bringing it because I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that my nephew will read it with me. And it was sent to me by my friend, Matthew Sharapa, um, who works over at um, Little Bee. This is from their Yellow Jacket publications. And this is Andy Shepard's The Boy Who Grew Dragons, illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy. Sarah, I'm sorry if I'm saying your last name incorrectly. And this book is going to come out on February 4th, 2020. This is the story of a young boy who gets a plant from his grandfather, I believe. It's a tree in his grandfather's backyard where he takes a fruit inside. And when it blossoms, out comes a little dragon named Flicker. And Flicker becomes his best friend. But where a little dragon goes, adventure follows. And it is that sort of story. I think it sounds absolutely charming. I think the cover art is absolutely adorable. And it has pictures and art inside of it too. And you know, I'm a sucker, a sucker for like a grandfather, grandson book. So I am super excited. I'm really hoping that my nephew, um, and I think more than one of my nephews is going to be there. So I may do a double nephew read of The Boy Who Grew Dragons by Andy Shepard, illustrated by Sarah Ogilvy. This is out from Yellow jacket on February 4th, 2014. So I would like to say that I'm going to be able to read all these books in the 10 days that I am on my travel trip, but you know I won't, but I am sure as heck going to try to get us through as many as I can because all of these sound absolutely amazing. As always, if you are a return subscriber to my channel, thank you so very much. If you are new to my channel and this is your first video, I hope you come back for more and I hope you like what you see. As always, until next time, I encourage you to shop locally, read globally, and I wish you happy reading and happy holidays. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.